Hey everyone, welcome to DevSpace. Today we have a fantastic and trendy topic to cover, and that is creating a nav bar with a slick hamburger menu using AlpineJS and Kelvin CSS. So let me show you a demo. If we have a wide screen, we have the logo and the menu on our nav bar, and if we narrow down to tablet or mobile screen size, then we'll have a hamburger button to click on it and see the menus. This will be a great way to enhance the user experience of your website, especially for the mobile users and tablet users. So let's dive into it. The first thing definitely is to set up the environment. So I have a project and a file index.html and everything set up inside it. So let me clarify that uh, we can use locally the Alpine.js and CSS. Uh, instead, this time I have used the CDN links. Uh, you have you can watch the video on my channel uh, how to configure Alpine and Telvin together. This time we are going with the CDN links. First, first of all, let me just uh, explain the structure of this navbar. We have an, a main div which includes everything the mobile nav and also the uh, large screen navigation. Uh, inside that we have this large screen nav and this mobile menu. Within the nav bar, uh, we have uh, definitely two two parts: the Telvin CSS and the Alpine JS. For the nav bar, we have the menu here. We have the logo uh, place here, and we have a button to click on it to show the mobile screen menu. But this button is actually hidden in the large screens. So that's quite good with the Telvin CSS. And this menu is actually hidden uh, when it is not large. When it is large, so the display is flex. But when it is uh, not large, let, let's say it is a small screen, so the main, this menu is hidden. Uh, below that, we have the mobile menu uh, where, where we have a button to close the menu. And below that, we have the mobile menu, actually the navigation uh, links. So this navigation link is uh, flex every time, but overall the div of the mobile menu is hidden with the Alpine JS. We say when the large screen actually it is hidden, but we can bring changes to it with the uh, let's say Alpine JS. So now coming to Alpine JS, we have a data x data directive defined on the parent div. And a variable open is assigned to false. False is assigned to the variable open. So let's clarify this. When open is false, so it means that we are on the uh, wider screen or larger screen. And when we uh, just narrow down to mobile screen, uh, this portion uh, comes into display because it is hidden in the large, but it will be displayed on a smaller screen size so this will be displayed this button so we will be able to click on this and this part will be hidden when it is a smaller screen and when we click on that so the open will become to like uh, true and when the open is true we will see this mobile screen menu overall and within this screen mobile menu we will definitely see this one this part of the screen which is like uh, let me show you when we click we see this part so this is here we go we have this and when we click on the close button the open will again uh, turn to false and everything will be hidden like here so that was the logic uh, behind this smooth working mobile menu thank you very much i'll definitely uh, upload the code uh, in the github so and give the report link in the description you can download it and hope you get something if you liked it please subscribe do comment and share thank you very much